Hi everyone. Today I'm going to demonstrate uh, the progress I've made on a do-it-yourself project to provide tracking protection for my Takahashi equatorial mount. I'm an astrophotographer and I like to sleep while my telescope collects data. That means I rely on automated programs like CCD Commander to perform a meridian flip on my mount so it doesn't collide with itself. Um, as the telescope moves, tracking objects as they rise in the east and set in the west, um, the mount will come up to a point where it needs to flip to the other side because if it keeps going, the camera is going to collide with the tripod leg. And Takahashi mounts don't have a lot of sophisticated electronics to prevent this, so they will just keep trying to keep moving the mount even though the mount can't move. Uh, there are clutches which can be released with these levers here. Uh, to allow, uh, to prevent that from damaging the gears in the mount, but it's still not something that you want to have happen. So I'm going, I've created a solution which will turn the mount off if the software fails to perform the meridian flip and the mount gets what I call upside down, where the counterweight bar is higher than the uh, saddle over here where the telescope is mounted. The power will just be cut off to the mount. So in this box, there's a little uh, chip, a three-axis accelerometer, which is measuring the direction of gravity. Following this DB9 connected ribbon cable, this is my little prototyping setup. This is an Arduino Uno controller, a um, little simple program. And on this breadboard, there's an LED. When this LED is on, it indicates that the mount is, re is receiving power. And in series with the LED is this cable pardon the ugly wires down here. This is called a, a power tail. Um, it's a switchable 120 volt outlet. So whenever the Arduino controller sends a high signal on pin 13, the outlet is on. And when the Arduino controller turns that signal off, the outlet turns off. So let's watch what happens. I'll use my hand controller here to make the mount slew to the west without doing a meridian flip you'll see that the telescope, or the, the camera gets closer and closer to the tripod and then you'll hear the relay in the power tail connector turn everything off and you'll see the LED turn off too. Here we go. It's off. No collision. Okay. Turn the Tema controller off. Unlock the clutch. I'm going to move the mount. And did you hear it come back on? See as I move, as I rotate, let me get a good shot of this if I can. As I rotate the mount in right ascension, you see the LED is going on and off and you can hear the relay click. Now if the meridian flip does take place, the telescope will flip around as, as, as it's supposed to. So the, the telescope is now on this side. And on the, if the telescope is on the correct side of the mount, like this, uh, it won't turn off, you know, even if it's way out of whack. The software will never slew the telescope here, so that's not a concern. The concern is that the mount keeps tracking uh, without doing the meridian flip. So it's only in the condition where the telescope is on the west side of the mount, pointed east, a little unbalanced here, and the software fails to do the meridian flip, it turns it off. Let's show that one more time with the high speed slew. Okay, the mount's on. You can hear the buzzing. And then I'll use the hand controller to slew the mount to the east, or I'm sorry, to the west. You gotta love the sound that these Takahashi mounts make when they're slewing. Here we go. Power's off. All right, hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks a lot.